Nishamu wabudu mawe. Hapana, ile inaito turba. Ile turba ni imetengenezo kutoka manana ardhi ya karbala. Kuna mali inaito karbala. Huko ni wapi? Huko ni mali Imam Hussein alikufa. Imam Hussein sasa tena ni nani? Tena mmaongeza mwingine. Ati hapana, Imam Hussein ni mjuku wa mtume. Oh, okay. Sawa. Sasa jua likufa huko. Ndomana mnachuko yu ardhi mnayaka. Kwa ni watu wangapi wamekufa? Mitume wangapi wamekufa mbona mchuko hizo ardhi zote mchu? Hapana ya ya alikufa. Yani sasa hapo bado hata ujui kisa ya karbala na nini na nini. Haka nyelezea, haka nyelezea. Nika sema oke okay, sawa. Iyo, iyo, aina shida juu. Haka nitolea mba kama hadithi zinasema. Mtume nasema the best place of prostration ni on earth. Ama kitu imetoka mana na earth. Nika sema oke okay, that makes sense. Sawa. Ivo, ivo. Kutawa. Hata kutawadha mjui, mnapanguzaje mgu. Haka nifungulia kwa Quran. Quran literally nasema wipe the, the, the head and feet. Ivo tundo venye hiko the text word to word. Inasema ivo. Alafu nikiangalia kwa pia kwa translation. Imeandikuwa wipe head. Alafu in bracket ike kwa wash. Kwa hii translation. Hii Quran is the to the kaidu. Translation, wash ime kwa in bracket. Kumanisha, hii wash, haiko part of this sentence. Hii meongezu hapo. Sana shinduwa, mbone meongezu, mbone jandiko tu venye hiko. Kwa sababu the first part, ime sama wash the face and hands. Sinti oni venye, siju the exact wording ya kiarabu. Lakini anyone aneza angalia. Ni sura tano, sita kasitia kosea. Wash the face and hands. Iko so clear, imendiko hivyo venyiko. Venyiko kwa kiarabu, ndo venyi imendiko kwa kwa translation. Lakini kifika pa kwa wipe head and feet, mbona kuna ongezo wash in bracket. Yiki tuli kuna nyudhi. Niko ya ni siyelewi. Na nikiangalia, sasa wa mashia, wanafanya exactly venyi imendiko kwa Quran. Sasa ndanzaji kwa kondemu. Unwana? Sasa nikajipata, kila kitu wenye nilikuwa na hold against the shia, na onyesho si hivyo. Sivo, sivo Nika kumbuka pia mimi Vile watu waliku wananiambiaga Wa islamu ni materialist Na shina niki wambia sivo Wa islamu ufanya hivi sivo Niko na it's the same situation Vile wawo waliku fed with lies Ndo vinyi pia mimi niko niko fed with lies Anona Nika sema aje Mali nimefika saa hii Iyu suni, iyu shia na ikakando Na anza u islamu afresh Kama mtu mwenye mezaliwa leo Naanza kusoma hivyo bupia. Venye nilianza kuchambu uislamu na ukristo. Hacha sato wekile ushia na usuni. Tuanzie tu hapo mwanzo. Nataka tuanzie malimtumi ya nazaliwa. Unwana. So nikaanza sa kuangalia historia. Pole pole. Naangalia venye kwa narrated from the suni books. Na venye kwa narrated in the shia books. Funny enough. The shia books zote zenye nimesoma. Wana toa reference. From Sunni hadiths. And not just any Sunni hadiths. Sahih hadiths. Sahih Bukhari. Muslim, Tirmidhi, Ibn Maja, Abu Dawud. Yani kituwezi pinga. Ikutu, yani nikaa, nisi nikutolea. Unajua already, washa establish ile. Everything in Sahih Bukhari is authentic. Unaelea? Yani kila na Sahih Muslim the same. Kumanisha anything nda kutolea from this book, you have to accept. Unaelea? Ata aneza kupatia haditha mbigu wa sdesign, ata unaisikia, unashindue nini. Hindi nina niambia, lafu ni kuambia. Iki tuiko kwa sahihu Bukhari, usema, ah, kwa sahihu Bukhari, ah. Alhamdulillah, yu ni hadith sahihu. At first, iliko ingia kilini, juu mesikia tu Bukhari, pap, already na ingia kwa kili sasa. Which mina feel ni ignorance of the highest order. Kwa sababu, we first put our brains, our intellect, 
mbele unaelewa ndio maana hata Mwenyezi Mungu kila kila mali wa Qur'an Mwenyezi Mungu anaambia mtu do you not see do you not understand do you not comprehend do you not contemplate kwa sababu hii akili ndio the, the main asset tuko nayo wewe ambiwa tu vitu tu una, una, unachukua tu vinyo tu unaambiwa unachukua tu unaelewa sasa hiyo ndio kitu nili, nili decide mimi stack kwa hiyo design sitaki kujua kama imeandikwa ni sahea mimi nitachukua ile nyingine nyingi ya kwa akili kama haingi haingi It's, ni hivyo tu simple unaelewa hivyo tu ndo venye pia nilisema ile time nilikuwa na research Islam na Quran nikasema if i find anything kwa hiyo Quran haingi akilini na wacha heri ni kwa atheist ndio nimefika hapo kwa sababu in reality hatuna hakuna mtu ameona Allah no one has seen Allah physically unaelewa ni mpaka usome na u, yani uji 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 confirmie through research yako that Allah na exist. Hakuna mtu atakuja kuonyesha ndio Allah muone sasa muamini. Unaona? So ukikuwa ignorant utafika point unasema by the way why should I believe in God? Ako. Unaona? Ni story tu tumekuwa tukiambiwa gwa. So lazima ukwe ni mtu mwenye uko tayari kutafuta. Uwezi pata kitu tafuti. Unaelewa? Allah mwenyewe anasema ukimtafuta utampata with a sincere heart. Unaelewa? Na mwenye namtafuta Allah anasema nam guide kwake. So nika feel ni kama Allah already yani mpaka inafika point una have a conversation with Allah. Anambia Allah wewe unaniona. Mimi si atiki niko na kiburi ya manini. Mimi honestly sijui which is the right path. Sijui, I just don't know. Kwa sababu nishaona hadithi nyingine tena inasema kutakuwa na madhahab zaidi ya na tatu. Sabini na tatu za Kiislamu na hati moja pekee yake ndio iko sawa. Hii kitu ajili ni ili ni hey, ilifanya nishtuke. Kwa sababu sasa hauambiwi ni gani? Hapo sasa ndo mali kuna shida. Unajua fadhali tungeambiwa ni fulani, haingekuwa simple kila mtu tungeruka hapo si wote. Lakini sasa hujaambiwa ni gani? Lakini unakatu comfortable au na wasiwasi. Yaani mimi najua kuna madhab 73 na, na moja tu ndio iko sawa lakini to hope yenye niko ndo iko sawa let's just hope yani unafanya yani ka kubahatisha utabahatisha aje unaona hiyo kitu mimi liko settle kwa brain yangu nikasema heri nitafute hata nikifa nikiwa natafuta nitakuwa na excuse nasema ya Allah mimi nilikufa nikitafutanga mimi hata maybe ningepata lakini wewe uliko ume relax hata unaona wasiwasi unaona hiyo ni problem so nikaanza ku compare tu pole pole tu pole pole unajua the main issue ni kwa history hata tukitato story ya history ya hii shida yote shia sunni nini itaisha hapo tu kwa history to establish who was in right and who was wrong ni hivyo tu simple kuna left na kuna right hakuna njia katikati unaona so the main issue with the shia and the sunni is that the sunni say the khalifa na kwa nani Abu Bakar. The Shia say the kiunga imama na kwa nani imama Ali. So one is right and one is wrong. It's as simple as that. Unaona? So how do we establish who is right? Tunarudi kwa hizi vitabu. Hizi vitabu tu hizo hizo vitabu zitatuambia. Unaona? Already tushaona mtu mwenye ako na qualities za kiongozi as per even the Quran unaona kuna kuna aya ya Quran katika, katika Quran unaambiwa Mwenyezi Mungu kuna time alichagua kiongozi wa umma fulani alikuwa ni mtoto wa kawaida kama fama hivi lakini akachagua yeye ndo kwa kiongozi over the people na watu wakamuuliza ya Allah mbona umechagua huyu kwa kiongozi wetu hapa kuna watu prominent hapa kuna watu wako na mahai blood hapa kuna watu nini Allah akasema nimemchagua only for two reasons akona greater nini greater ilm na is better in physic which is the same thing enye tukiangalia naturally hivyo ndo vinyo tutachagua hata tukikuwa tu ngapi tuliza nani hapa ndo anajua njia huyo na nani hapa ndo anajitambua isikuwe tukienda wewe ndo mtu kwanza kuepa bado ni huyo huyo ndo kiongozi it's automatic unaelewa so mbona tuna mbona hatuoni hii kitu iki apply during that time okay so Naweza sema from the moment yenye nilikuwa nilije establish ya uh, mimi nimeridhika na ushia ilikuwa ni at the end naweza sema the end of 2017 tukiingia 2018 ndo nili nili ni yani nilikuwa nilistreaten mind yangu ni za in indo kitu 
iko sawa na the moment nilifanya hivyo actually hata sijakwambia zile vitabu nilikuwa nazo shule zile kuna vitabu nili sinakwambia um, nyanyango nilipatia vitabu kadhaa kasome hizi nikachukua nikaenda nazo shule hiyo kitabu ilikuwa ni nimesahau tu jina ya hiyo inaelezea imamali ya zalida hiyo kitabu ili kuna mtu alichukua akaficha tukiwa shule aliificha aliona kijana ameanza mambo mengi sasa Jusani nilikuwa ni maswali mi 24/7 nikuuliza watu maswali. Hai, hapa anasoma mahali. E, Uthman alikuwa aki, akipatia na uongozi kwa watu wa familia yake tupu. Na anaona mpaka iko kwa Sahih Bukhari. Si ndio hii? Naonyesha mtu mtu ananiambia, "Eh, hiyo ni kitabu gani hiyo?" Yule ndo swali ya kwanza, "Yule kitabu gani hiyo afungue hivi?" Hai, hii kitabu hapana. Hii kitabu ni kama ya maishi, hii kitabu achana na. Naambia ni achana nayo kwa nini? We niambi hadithi iko ama hakuna. Hii hadith imeandikwa sahihi Bukhari. Hai, tutajuaje mpaka tuangalie. So hivyo maswali maswali. Hai, nilianda hivi nikirudi hakuna kitabu. Nilishinda gani nikiuliza watu kwa mosque. Kitabu yangu namechukua. Kitabu yangu hakuna mtu alinirudishia. So unaona hiyo hiyo act tu ya kuchukua kitabu ndio iliniwasha sasa moto ile sasa ndo nitaingia sasa zaidi kusoma. So from tangu nikubali sasa hiyo shia kwanza marafiki walipungua especially shule wale watu wote wenye lugha wameanza kuja kwa mabesti ati mashallah run siku hizi ai ja 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 iko kwa huyu huyu ni sumu sasa unaona kwa sababu naleta sasa stories zingine tukaanza kupatana sasa tumemaliza form 4 tunaanza kupatana sasa zingine tuko tunaenda hizi shughuli za kwa ma, orphans nini tunaenda kutembelea bado tu tulikuwa tunapatana watu wa class lakini tukipatana nilikuwa napata nikawa miunga kamati kabisa yani wananingoja tu nifike wanipige maswali zao zenye wako na so unaweza imagine watu kama 30 wanataka kuku, kukuuliza maswali na kukuambia venye uko wrong hata uwezi respond lakini mimi nilikuwa nilikuwa na try to to, to my level best alafu at that time bado siku nilikuwa na ile mkidogo sana sasa zingine naweza jibu zingine siezi sasa liko tu tafash lakini unapata wengine waliendelea tu kwa mabeshti zao wakasema ina mambo bro weka ume amo hivyo ni sawa wengine wakasema hapana ah, ukijana hapana ah huwa analipwa by the way hiyo ndilikuwa issue kuna msa nimeanza kulipwa eh alikuwa aruna lipwa pesa ngapi kwa nini lipwa pesa ngapi so kuja ufanye huko kwa hiyo ofisi yetu ya charity eh yeah. at least ufanye at least huko tunaweza tu, at least tukifanya hizo makibarua wewe kosa kitu kuliko kwenda kuanza kukufurishwa ku, ku, huko unalipwa pesa ngambia naye amenilipa hakuna mtu amenilipa nyinyi ndio mmenitumia hata fedha kuja hapa hakuna mtu ananilipa mimi nimesoma tu na hapa ndo mali masomo yangu imenifikisha so mabeshti wakaanza kunitoka lakini sasa home ha home sasa ndo nilizema lazima watu watajue history nikaanza na madha Mother nikabonga na mother nikabonga na mother mother mwenyewe akaona yenyewe na make sense. Sayo, mi, sasa ni mimi na shosh peke yetu. Sisi ndo tume tumeshikilia. Ah pia sister sister shosh pia yeye aka sasa mama yake marehemu mabu mkuli yangu. Pia yeye aka alikuwa shia sasa. Mother pia aka aka akaanza kuwe aka yani inamuingia kilini ana kuna mambo mengine bado anashuku lakini naweza sema ameaksa mpaka kufikia sasa amesha accept unaelewa na grand grandfather yangu hajawahi kuwa na problem mimi na feel hiyo ujua tu hiyo <laughs> ujua tu hii kitu iko sawa unajua for some people unapata naweza sema for some people tu hiyo tu ku accept tu kiwazi ati hii kitu tu ni kubaliko sawa na ni nitangaze ina kugemeshinda watu unaelewa yani tu ni change my ways yani maybe for example for 60 70 years nimeishi hivi watu wakijua hivi alafu tu leo hii ni kuje tu ni for some people na feel ni difficult una no. but yeah je kwa na shida hata je niuliza swali Jua na jua niko na vile tu maremu uncle yangu maremu maremu bali kwa anamjibu ndio venye tu pia mimi nitamjibu sasa hata je shughulika kabisa kabisa lakini mabesti zangu niuliza kuna mabesti zangu alhamdulillah watu wamefikia mpaka kwa hiyo point ya kusema mimi niko tayari kuanza kusoma mimi niko tayari kuanza kuchambua nikamwambia bro na hakuna hata mtu anakuambia kuwa shia 
kitu naambiwa ni soma mimi mwalimu wangu wangu leo akuniambia kuashia mimi niambia tu soma hakuna mimi hata sijaambia ati unafaa kuemshia na, na kuuliza gatu maswali zenye zitakuacha zitakuacha wewe na maswali kwa kichwa zenye zitakulazimisha wewe urudi kwa hiyo kitabu hey, ukijana alikuwa ananiambia nini utarudi wewe mwenyewe kwa kitabu confirm kwa sababu hivyo ndio venye tunataka si tunataka watu warudi kwa vitabu Unaona kwa sababu hapo ndo mali kuna kila kitu. Hata unaambiwa the, the, the foundation ya dini ni ilmu. Ilmu kaa iko una dini uko kwa dini gani? Unaelewa? Na si ati lazima uko kila mtu akuwe alim, alim kila mtu akuwe ni mtu ako na profound knowledge. Ile tu kidogo unaweza unaweza pata. Ile yenye unaweza unaweza sema daily hata some page mbili tu. Yeye kitabu mpaka ile siku ndamaliza. Wale ni khairi kwako kuliko bila. Unaona? sasa hivyo tu nimepata mixed reactions from people watu kuna watu waliona huyu kijana amepotea kuna watu waliona huyu kijana he's on to something wengine wakakubali marafiki zangu alhamdulillah wengine hata wali from kwa Kristo tu straight kwa washia kwa sababu mimi mtu yote sasa from ni kumshia anyone mwenye ndaslimisha ndamslimisha na jina Hussein Hassan automatic wanakuwa tu ni mashia kwa sababu unawaambia nyinyi ni jeshi hali wanakubali wanasema ndio hivyo na naambia sasa si ati sasa mmekuwa waislamu waislamu jina ni msome na mniulize masomo mimi mimi waambia niulizeni maswali ndio nijue kitu yenye sijui ju true kuniuliza swali si sijui kila kitu ndajibu ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu ndakuwa eh hiyo sijui itanipata ile motivation ya kwenda kuitafuta sasa hivyo tu alhamdulillah si sema ime, imekuwa tu poa Yes, japata yani hiyo negativity mingi ama hiyo pressure mingi as japata oh yeah i'm pursuing business management and okay. degree in business management yeah okay mimi nikiwa shule unajua tunaka kwa hostels so mostly i prefer praying in the hostels mimi usali kwa hostels alafu watu wenye niko nao kwa room currently si waislam so hata haelewi though mmoja ni muislam Uh, mashallah kijana mzuri sana yani ameshikilia dini mashallah na mimi uzungumza naye na <laughs> yeye alishtuka sana story nilikuwa namwambia kana ah we bro na ni story sijaisikia lakini kulingana na vile namwambia yeye mwenyewe ana feel na make sense ni vile tu nakwambia kuna ugumu fulani ya ile kukubali yani kabisa una hiyo kitu ni ngumu sana kwa watu nimekuja ku realize unaona unaweza unaweza imagine msee ametoka home all his life amekuwa tu msuni alafu after semester 1 tu anarudi home anaambia tu majamaa amenishia si hata utafukuzwa home unaona sasa for some people ni difficult which to some extent mimi uelewa wezi si itakuwa mteremko kwa kila mtu kwa venye maybe kwa ngwi kwa jumia kuna mtu alini alinitukana ama kanifanya nini sijaipata hiyo aggression so mi mostly mi pray tu kwa room Uh, uh, kitu tu inaweza ni give out kukuashia ni swala yangu lakini ka nimeka na marafiki zangu tunazungumza maybe discussion inaweza lead tu hapo jumini ule mse tukianza ku discuss alafu mseme kitu wenye najua hii kitu hakuna ah siwezi shikilia ndawaambia ukitaka tuingie kwa vitabu heri tuingie haya ili tutafute hizo vitabu lakini ati ile tu ni ati tu unasema tu naitikia he, he, iko hivyo Ah kama iko hivyo ndakwambia bro kusema kweli respectfully si feel kama hiyo point umesema iko hivyo kwa sababu ya kadha na kadha na kadha. Lakini alhamdulillah kuna watu kuna rafiki yangu pia shule pia imemmekia sense sana. Na saa hii currently yuko so fascinated na story ya Ahlul Bait kwa sababu hata ukia yani Ahlul Bait ndo wako juu ya viumbe 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 vyote according to the Quran according to, to the hadith Hadith Taqalain is putting the Ahlul Bait next to the Quran. The Quran is above all books, meaning the Ahlul Bait is above all human beings. Uwezi ongoza kiongozi. Unaona? If the Ahlul Bait are the leaders, let them be the leaders. Let us follow. Unaona? Ni mentality ya kukukuume close akili yako design. 
Yaani wewe venye tu unajua ndio hivyo mimi venye babu yangu alikuwa anajua ndio hivyo na baba yangu sasa mimi pia ni hivyo mpaka nife. Hata Qur'ani na condemn watu wako hivyo. Unaona? Qur'ani itaki watu wana stick to the beliefs of their ancestors just merely because at ni beliefs. Unafu unafuata kitu kwa sababu usha uko certain ni kitu inafaifuata wewe. Na ndio the correct thing ya kufuata. Ndio maana tuko na maakili. Unaona? Hizi akili hiyo ndo kazi yake. Ku, kuweza ku compare. Unaona? Na ku analyze na kukuwa critical about kitu design. Achana na hii biasness tumejiwekea. Hii didi si ya mtu. Unaona? Hii didi si ya mtu. Bado tulikuta hapa. Na tutaiacha watu wengine wataendelea kuhusu kwa Islamu. Si tukienda tuna tukitoka kwa hii dunia tunaenda to a different level. Unaelewa? Kumaanisha Uislamu itaendelea tu. Si ati sasa kama wewe ni msuni ukikufa, hayo umemaliza usuni umeenda nayo. Itabaki kama wewe ni mshia, ushia itabaki kwa dunia, wewe utaendelea na jani yako mbele. Kwa hivyo hii ati tumejiekea gati mimi venye na jua ni hivyo na kuna kitu mtu anaweza niambia kwa sababu mimi ni right na wewe uko wrong. Hiyo ni ignorance of the highest order. Tunafaa kuwa ready kusikia kitu mtu anakuambia. Mimi leo hata Buddhi sitaki kuja anze kuniambia mambo ya ndamsikiza. Ndamsikiza what is logical I will take, what is not logical ndamwambia pale pale bro hii hii haiko. Hii hakuna unless uniprove. Mimi mwambia mtu very simply eh if you can prove to me that there is a better human being apart from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam than Ali eh mtu mwenye amezidi Ali in anything in anything mtoletu mtu mmoja naacha ushia naacha naacha na nakulipa <laughs> kwa sababu mimi nime ni, ni, yani nimefika mali niko so certain hakuna mtu kama huyo Everyone looked up to him. Literally Imam Ali is the only imam uh, oh, uh, the who is the fourth khalifa. He is the only khalifa mwenye alikuwa uh, elected by people, the people. Yeye ndo watu walikuja mpaka kwake kumchukua kwake, yani ya ali lazima ukwe khalifa, lazima kuja sasa utuongoze. The first one alichaguliwa with some people. Not all people, some people. The second one ilikuwa ni Eh, success ali success ali, ali mpatia tu direct na pea the, the second one direct the third one ilikuwa through six ni toka as an election of six people the fourth one is the only one watu walikuja yani you can imagine kila mtu amekuja hapo kusema sasa wewe tu kuwa tu khalifa ama hatutoki hapa yani kila mtu amekuridhia saa tunafaturudi nyuma tuangalie hizi facts tuta ignore hizi facts zote tutazi ignore tu ati kwa sababu mimi nilizaliwa hivi na hivi ndo najua mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu ukiulizwa uliletewa fact fulani how did you act upon it utajibu nini saa mimi kwa vijana especially um, ningependa kwanza kusema wale ambao tayari wako katika Uislamu na wako katika madhhab zingine wanafaa waelewe kitu ya kwanza the same way hawataki uislamu kuangaliwa kama a terrorist society ama a, terrorist, a religion of terrorism is the same way mashia hawafurahi kuona wakiangaliwa kama makafiri hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza The same way utaambia mtu Islam si venye wewe unaona hizo stories zote unaambiwa ni uongo ndo the same way unafuelewe pia hizi stories zote unaambiwa mbaya mbaya kusumashia ni uongo unaona turudi tukuje tuulize hao mashia tuache kuuliza mananchi unajua unaenda unauliza nanshia stories za mashia wasaidika kuja kwa ushia unaona muuliza huo shia hivi na hivi na hivi ni kweli ni uongo utaambiwa ah hata ukienda kwa mashia au ufanya taqia yeye ataitikia tu kila kitu ah tufa taqia si hivyo taqia ina apply sa zile your life is at risk mimi ukikuja kuniuliza swali life yangu iko at risk wapi hakuna mali niko at risk 
mimi nda kujibu tu facts in fact mimi nda kujibu kulingana na your own books design sita ku sita kwambia ah kwa kitabu yetu ya mashia kuna hadith a ah, a ah. kwa vitabu zenye you can relate to so that is how hiyo ndo attitude my youth sana sana wanafaa kuwa nayo wanafaa kuwa ni ile attitude ya i am not sure sunism is the the one true i am not sure the shiism is the one true or sufism or salafism or whichever madhab you are in tunafaa tukuwe na hiyo mentality ya i am willing and ready to listen and to to study kuelewa ni nini yenye nafaa kuwa nafanya unaelewa hakuna expert ndio maana tunasoma alafu hata in matters of kuangalia tu world affairs eh tukiangalia tu world affairs which country in the world today tunaweza sema ina stand up against oppression in the entire world which country ina stand up against oppression na hii tunaongelea hata mayutu mayutu sana sana mayutu wa ghetto mayutu wa ghetto wanaliaga shida we are being oppressed tunadhulumiwa sasa wewe kama yutu wa ghetto angalia ni ni inchi gani kwa hii dunia inasimama against oppression despite anything muislamu unaambiwa ukichukua haki yako ukinyang'anywa haki yako uiombi unaichukua unaona wewe unyang'anya haki yako hapo uje nisaidie tafadhali ni haki yangu naifaa kuichukua unaona lakini ni inchi gani yenye imesimama na hizo misimamo kwa dunia mzima Iran So kama tunaweza chukua ro, exa, role models kama the people who stand up against oppression mtu mwenye uko shu hata milioni kiko oppressed mtu anaweza mtetea wao ndo mtu mwenye unafaunika karibu lakini kitu fani unapata the country is sheer dominated sasa tutawa ignore tiko sababu ni mashia yani hata it makes sense This is about humanity. Hii hata si mambo na dini. Hii ni humanity being human. Hmm? When Palestine ina kuwa oppressed, Iran iko hapo kuwasaidia. Palestinians are not shias. Unaona? Lakini ona because of being human, si wote ni waislamu. Sasa tunafa tuna take example from watu wenye wanatuongoza kwa hizi fields. Muislamu ni mtu anafaa stand for justice. Muislamu ni mtu anafaa stand for e, nini kila mtu anapata haki yake na kuna kuna kuwa, na peace na hii oppression inaisha. So watu tunafaa tuna look up to ni watu wana uphold these values. Yaani tukuwe tu open minded. Yaani hiyo tu ndo the main point na zaambia my youth wa kuwe open minded. Unaona? Fungua macho unaelewa angalia vinye, a, bethe, ukiangalia tu venye dunia inakaa ukiangalia tu venye vitu zinaendelea ku happen hata you don't even need to go to the books ukikuwa tu mtu wa kusema mimi nitafuta mali haki iko utajipata uko ndani ya halubait automatic kuwa tu mtu mwenye unataka haki we ni mtu mwenye sincerely unataka tu kuona oppression imeisha obviously utataka kutafuta wale watu wa frontline ya ya kupiga hiyo pressure. Sa ni hivyo tu. Tufungwe ni tu akili, tuacheni hii hizi chuki za unnecessary na hizi story propaganda zenye hakuna, yani story yani ku create chuki which ni so unhealthy kwa sababu the more tunapigana the more the enemies wanna fry. Unaona? Tuna nani uh, uh, Imam Khomeini alisema The, while we are, we are arguing on whether to fold or nini uh, put our hands down the the enemies are planning to cut them off sasa si tuko hapa tunabishana hapana hii ndio iko sawa hapana hii ndio iko sawa tuangalie the, the practice of the prophet ndio inafaa kuni practice yetu kama the prophet was tolerant towards the non muslims towards the people who had diff, different beliefs from him ndio venye pia si tunafaa tukue it's as simple as that tukirudi eh, In fact tukirudi tu kwa vile the prophet alikuwa ana lead his life from point A to point B when alikuwa na associate na watu we will have no problems sasa tunafaa tu tufungue macho na tukumbuke tu mali tumetoka tukumbuke hii dini tuko sisi ni waislamu kwa sababu ya la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah unaona hakuna mtu mwenye ati anakulipa juu ni muislamu umeifanya kwa sababu unaamini unaona na kaa unaamini ingia full in 
si atu mgu moja iko ndani nyingine iko nje so ni hivyo ni hivyo tu unaweza sema oh, 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 oh.